OFC Women's Football Manager Emma Evans. How excited are you to launch the inaugural Women's Champions League in Papua New Guinea very soon? It's an incredibly exciting moment to launch the OFC Women's Champions League 2023. Uh, the clubs have been wanting this for, for a very long time and now they finally have the chance to, to test themselves and really contest not only against the best in their own countries but the best across the other six nations now as well. The, the competition is starting off as a pilot where we have six teams um, contesting that, that championship spot uh, but it will grow over time to include all 11 nations and we can really see the best of the best. And what an opportunity for the players in the region you know, to aspire to what's coming next with the FIFA Women's World Cup in New Zealand and Australia just around the corner too. Uh, it's a tremendous opportunity for them, isn't it, to, uh, to really showcase their skills in Port Moresby. Having the opportunity for these clubs and the individual players to now play in an international club competition exposes them to so many new um, environments, new experiences when it comes to, I guess, travelling. So from the point that they leave their country, but it's also now getting to, to play against best players, the best players from other, um, other nations is such an incredibly exciting opportunity. The other side of that though now is that they also get um, extra visibility, there's the exposure now through broadcast where they'll be seen um, by other coaches, by scouts, by people globally, which they might not have had the opportunity to before. And for so many of these players, the Champions League provides a stepping stone now into future um, international competitions for their national teams, which um, is incredibly exciting and inspiring for all players. And there's a real passion for football in PNG in Papua New Guinea, and we're going to see you know, the crowds come out to, uh, to really enjoy what will be a, a fantastic showcase. Yeah, in a country of nearly 9 million people that are football crazy, um, especially we've seen it in the men's game where they have so many supporters, so many fans down there cheering on their home teams. I hope we get that same level of support here for the, the Champions League. I'm sure we'll get it in the Hikari United uh, home games, but hopefully we also see it across all games where we have these passionate fans, these people who love um, watching football and now a new opportunity to see women's football and some of them it might be their first time watching. So um, incredibly exciting.